Wow. What a film. Past Lives is a film that I've been looking forward to for a few months because I attended the Sundance Film Festival back in January. I saw it was on the schedule. I was very intrigued. I went on to get a ticket for it and it sold out instantly. So I didn't get to see it. And I saw the positive reactions when I was at the festival of people who saw it. And I was very upset because I was like, dang it. So I've been waiting for this film for months. It released in limited runs in New York and LA a few weeks ago. And I was just waiting for the day when it would finally go wide. Finally, last night, tickets finally went up for a theater that was near me. This is a very limited release, which is strange for a film like this. It deserves to be seen by more people 100%. I'm not going to waste too much of your time talking about how great this film is because I'm pretty sure that you know by now that this film is very highly rated and in high regard and it's without a doubt all deserved praise because this is a masterpiece. This film is tender and heartwarming. It's a romantic film that doesn't get too sappy, that doesn't get too sentimental. It's very balanced and nuanced in its portrayals of young love and aging love. I thought the dynamic between the two characters worked perfectly and I thought it was expertly done. It's tear jerking, but in a way that's not really sad, but you cry because of the kindness and goodness of certain characters in here. I don't wanna to give too much away because uh, part of the enjoyment of this film, I think, is just experiencing what these characters have to offer, and that definitely increased my enjoyment of the film. There were times where my heart was just tugged at so expertly. Um, it was really emotional, and it made me cry a lot at the end. It's an excellent music score throughout that's very simplistic by nature. It doesn't overbear like the events that happen, but it's not too muted, it's perfect. It serves a great purpose. It highlights and accentuates certain elements of each scene perfectly. And the subtle cinematography and editing allow for a very easy flow in this film. The direction is phenomenal. Celine's song needs to direct something new ASAP. I can't get enough of her slow and methodical approach to directing. I thought it was done expertly, and yeah, I just loved it so much. Greta Lee and T.O.U. give some performances that I think are absolutely incredible. I think it's some of the best performances of the year. I know it's like the halfway point when I'm recording this, but it was so well done. I can't get over it. And all in all, this film is a masterpiece and it is by far the best film so far of 2023. I'm extremely happy to give Past Lives a 100 out of 100. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe button down below, like the video, and uh, turn on push notifications so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video to this channel. With that being said, this is Mitchell signing off. Peace out.